Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. You know, I can see where Eric is coming from. I can see where Eric is coming from. Eric wants to sit there and work on a project, another project with Reg. And Reg is all like, oh, you don't need to be doing that. You need to be going out there and playing golf and pickleball and just, you know, relaxing. You know, let some of the other people come and start doing your stuff. And the thing is, you know, even maybe a couple episodes before, Eric was like, you've been avoiding me. I've been wanting to work on this project with you. You've been doing nothing but avoiding me. What is going on? And now he's practically, he's practically talking about just putting him out the pasture. And Ridge is like, oh, well, that's not what I meant. If you, if you thought that's what I, you know, if I, if I said something that offended you, you know, I, I apologize. I was like, Ridge, you're not stupid. You're not. You, you can't be this dumb. So now Eric is, is, is pissed off, you know, and, you know, he's looking for things like a stapler and stuff. And which, yes, I understand. It sounds very like, oh, come on, bro. It's just stapler, like relax. But. You know, when you can't find it, and Ridge is like, oh, well, I don't know, maybe somebody's throwing it out. He was like, so is that what you're going to do to me? You just, you're going to throw me out with the rest of the trash? I can see where he's coming from. He built that company from the ground up, okay? He's been in business for a very long time. And although he doesn't sketch, like, you know, he doesn't put out products or whatever like he used to, he's still a vital part of the company. And I can understand him being dismissed about it, or him feeling like he's being dismissed. I don't get stuffy. I really don't understand at this point. Finn is even offering to stay over there, and she just still has this look on her face. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. What, what about Sheila? What about Sheila? You, you, you live in Fort Knox at this point. Like, I'm sorry, but I feel like there might be an underlining issue. Like, there may be another reason, and she keeps using Sheila as some sort of excuse. Oh, Sheila's out there, and, she, and your connection is Sheila, and this, that, and third. Okay, so let him live there then. What's the problem? No, no, but he he could live there though, right? Like that 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 should work out, right? What's what's the issue? This is what see this is my whole thing. I'm a person that has very. Early on, for like enough to get another water. I'm a, very, I'm a person that has very, very little patience, right? Her living at at Eric's house indefinitely is is not an option. She's not giving a time frame. This dude is begging her multiple times. Oh, I called and I texted and you didn't you didn't get back to me. I know. I just know my ass. What do you, what do you mean you know? Your husband is there texting. You you can't be bothered to. I didn't know what I was going to say. Let him pull something like that and, and see what kind of attitude that she has. That just... Mm. I don't know what's going on with her. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's very frustrating to sit there and watch. Now... Liam made this made this question way more complicated than he needed to. Hope just asked, "Do you want to make this work? You want to make this work for the sake of kids?" Which again, I always find to be pretty stupid, but whatever. But she's like, "Do you want to make this work?" Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, uh, because one one thing the hope this at the end do, which I was very happy about. And people, and the thing is, the people that sat there and it was like, that tried to make Hope's saying made sense was laughable. And I'm going to sit there and say it, and I'm going to enjoy saying it as well. When Hope said, well, I always felt like, you know, Steffi was in our relationship, like you still had some sort of love for Steffi. And I remember somebody in my damn live stream was like, a woman can tell. And did I have to sit there and hold back on that? I sat there was like, we're not going to sit there and justify, we're not going to sit there and try to justify Hope's BS. And when Hope said, you know what, I did use that as an excuse to justify my actions. I literally sat there was like, because I've been saying that ish all along. And for the people that sat there and tried to make excuses for hope like that made sense was nothing sure but laughable. And yes, I understand that they're fitting into the narrative now that hope was right, but this is only an aftermath. Okay? What hope said was still BS. And I'm going to stand by that ten toes down.
Yes, Leah made that 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 situation that that question way too complicated. Well, I mean, let me ask you a question. I mean, how would it feel about Thomas? You know, like I mean, I'm like, bro, she just asked you if you want to make this work or not. Why are you making this so complicated for her? After he practically went in circles, he finally was like, no, no, I can't forgive you. This isn't gonna work. And we can all sit there and call Liam a hypocrite or for the stuff that he's been doing out there on these streets and and, and chastise her for, for something that he's been doing to both of those ladies for years. No, I'll do that. Right? And I get it. At any point in time, we've all been hypocritical, right? And so with that being said, he said this isn't going to work. Now, let's be very clear. They're both lying in the situation, okay? Liam does not know that that Hope has been knocking boots to Thomas. And Hope doesn't know that Liam has been kissing Steffi twice behind her back. So they are already starting off this union. If they, Even if they did get together, they're starting off this union on the lie. They're not being honest with each other. So it wasn't going to work out anyway. Even if Liam was like, yeah, I'll forgive you. Until when? Until when? So, yeah, he was like, this isn't going to work. And as, as much as that sucks, and as much hypocritical as that is, I can't even sit there and say it's honest. I can't even sit there and say it's honest. It's honest in a sense, because he knows what he's not going to sit there and deal with. Well, let's be honest. The dude isn't there doing dirt behind her back as well. So, how much honesty could it really be? Now, what is Hope going to do? Is she going to go right back to Thomas and be like, hey, I want you to be my consolation prize? And is Thomas going to sit there and be like, yeah, sure. I'll be your consolation prize. Even though you, you decide to leave me to, to go one, to, to try to win him back, and he said no, but you can come right back home. What does that sit there and say as a person? What does that say as a man? As a human being in general, what does that sit there and say? What does that say about your self-worth? Right? No. Don't. No. These are the questions that I sit there and ask sometimes. Not so much about that, but just, I got about self-worth a little bit, you know? That's why I put out my video about treating how to treat someone like a queen without compromising your own integrity. Because that is a real thing. I feel like that's pretty much about it. I can't really think of anything else. And with that being said, I'm going to go. I know this video came out a little bit late. Apologies for that. I was watching the first two. Um, Sokatana, I think that's the name. The first two episodes on Disney Plus, which is actually pretty good. Even though I'm not going to lie, I. I really need a history lesson um, on some of the stuff that's going on. But so I got Disney Plus. Anyway, that's the reason why it's coming out so late. But uh, let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. I might have missed some stuff, so come to the live stream. If I miss anything tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, we'll sit there and talk about all the shows, uh, YNR, Days, b and and GH. With that being said, I'm going to go. <clears throat> Also, if you're not a member, definitely think about joining. It's a lot of fun on the weekends. We talk about things that we don't necessarily talk about on the weekdays. We get into some deep discussions, and they're they're pretty fun. They're interesting. They're informative, and it's honestly tell you therapeutic. So definitely think about joining by hitting the join button in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.